continues there are two sources over here and there is a screen over here and what is the angular fringe width when you use a light you know that at exactly at the midpoint you will have a bright fringe and then okay it's like this so this is the central maximum and this is the first maximum this is the second maximum okay so what is the angular fringe width angular fringe width is the angle subtended with respect to the midpoint uh, angle subtended by the fringe width so this is one bright fringe so brightest and slowly decreases to dark and slowly decreases so this is one bright fringe so from the center if you draw a line here if you draw a line here so this is lambda d by d this is called fringe width so this angle theta this angle let us call angle subtended we call it phi or something okay so the okay let me call it theta no problem so theta suppose you know that if a particle moves on a circle theta equal to the arc length by radius so theta is arc length by radius and here if you consider this as a part like this this is approximately equal to beta and this one since this distance i mean we have drawn it like this but this distance d is far greater than this here if you see this distance and this distance are comparable suppose if two sources are so close to each other and the screen is far away and you will obviously see that this is part of a circle so this distance is almost equal to d this is equal to fringe width beta so the angle subtended theta or angular fringe width let me call it angular fringe width theta equal to arc length by radius so beta by d beta fringe width is lambda d by d by d so d and d will be cancelled so angular fringe width beta equal to lambda by d it's a very important thing remember it and then maximum order observed on the screen so what is the maximum order observed on the screen we know that uh, from here to here so this is path difference d sin theta so we know that d sin theta equal to the delta so for the maximum order sin theta must be equal to 1 and we know that delta equal to n lambda path difference if path difference is n lambda then that is constructive so d sin theta so for maximum order means sin theta is maximum value so the maximum order is equal to d by lambda look at these two this is angular fringe width this is the maximum order observed so the reciprocal of the angular fringe width is equal to maximum order observed on the screen okay so distance this is small d distance between the sources distance between the sources and this is the wavelength